praise the Lord. Once again, um, this is Caroline Okonda, uh, patron of the Queen's Fellowship in Ref Lakisama. I wish to share a little with couples in Ref and even all over. With the COVID-19 challenge, it has been noted with great concern that domestic violence is on the rise. With couples now forced to spend more time together, one would be tempted to think that love would be at its peak now. But that is not the case. Instead, couples are in these houses are fighting. That's the irony of life. The word of God in Proverbs 14 verse 1 it says every wise woman buildeth her house but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. Every wise woman buildeth her house. That is what I will major upon. Every wise woman, I believe whoever is listening to me, if it's a woman, I'm talking to somebody wise. Wisdom is the key thing in us as women to build up our homes or our houses, to build up our marriages, to build up our families, to make things work around our homes. So every woman, I urge that at this moment, when people, when many people are so agey, and they will come out raging at, 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 at whatever slightest provocation, then I urge women, please let us apply wisdom in all matters. It does not matter how, how big that challenge might seem in that, in that house or in your marriage or in that uh, uh, or whatever challenge you'll be facing at home. It needs us to have wisdom. And this wisdom, I will say, wisdom is not intelligence. Somebody will say that I'm learning. Wisdom is not intelligence. So please, let us not apply our education or our office in matters to do with home. Praise the Lord. Wisdom is the ability to do what is right at the right time and in the right way. So, how will we get wisdom? We must ask of God. Please let us seek wisdom. Women all over, let us seek wisdom. And it is by wisdom that God will teach you how to live with your husband. God will teach you how to live with your children. God will teach you how to handle matters at home. God will teach you how to handle matters at your workplace. Wisdom, let us seek for it. Proverbs 15 verse 1, the Bible says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stirs up anger. A soft answer turns away wrath. Queens and women all over. Our tongues are a blessing. But let us tame them that they may utter words of grace to the listeners. Whoever uh, receives these words, let him be encouraged. Let him find peace in his heart. Do not be the type that will speak so many careless words because those careless words might provoke anger. Praise the Lord. So let us be keen with the words that come out of our mouths. It is with these mouths that we provoke our spouses even to anger. Praise the Lord. First Peter 
chapter 3 verse 4 says but let it be the hidden man of the heart now we are talking about the beauty you can read the whole of chapter 3 first peter but i've taken verse 4 but let it be the hidden man of the heart in that in that which is not corruptible but the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of god of great price let our inner beauty be seen in such a moment let our inner beauty be seen i'm not saying the outer beauty is not important it is very important but for us to handle things the right way in our homes then uh, desire that your inner beauty be seen the inner beauty of meekness and of a quiet spirit do not be the rough and quarrelsome type in your dealings praise the lord so women all over those who are listening to me please let your beauty your inner beauty speak more than your outer beauty now i'll address the kings or the husbands according to first peter uh, chapter 3 verse 7 it says likewise you husbands dwell with them according to knowledge you are eyed men all over people who call themselves husbands you are eyed to live with your wives according to knowledge in other words you must apply knowledge what do you know about her her capabilities her inabilities, her likes, her don'ts. What do you know about her? It is not about uh, what you know about women. Not about the other women. What do you know about her? Praise the Lord. Live with her according to knowledge. You must apply knowledge. Praise the Lord. You must apply knowledge. Here, for you to live well with your wife, knowledge is key. Knowledge, knowledge is key. Not what logic says. Many men want to speak about what logic says. It is not about what logic says. It is not about her level of education. She might be even uh, so learned. But when it comes to house matters, nobody is perfect. So it is not about her level of education. It is not about what you think that she should be knowing. Live with her according to knowledge. The knowledge that God has given to you concerning her. And now, the question that will arise, how much do you know your wife? Praise the Lord. Another thing, giving honor unto the wife. Husbands are asked to honor their wives. And what, one secret that I'll tell those who are listening to me, a woman who is honored by the husband, this is enough. The honor from the husband is enough to unlock the potential in this woman. When a woman feels that she is dishonored or demeaned by the husband, their nature is that she will lock herself in thinking that she has nothing good at all to offer so if you want your wife 
To be that woman that you think she should be, learn to honor her. There are men who will dishonor their wives in front of the friends to the wives or in front of other people. This is so demeaning. Praise the Lord. This woman, you will not see anything good out of her. It is because of your actions. Honor this woman. And this woman, whatever is locked up inside of her, will just come out. Praise the Lord. As unto the weaker vessel, back to our scripture, verse 7, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, I'll talk about the weaker vessel. Weakness here is not of anything, but of her position to you as a helpmate. And her duty to you, the duty of submission. When the Bible talks of her being the weaker vessel, you are the head. You being the man, you are the head. And she, being the woman, her position to you is a helpmate. And her duty to you is that of submission. That is where the weaker, the weakness issue comes in. In other words, God does not expect you, you as a husband, to use your position of being the head to frustrate or harass your wife. Praise the Lord. So remember that if you will, you will deal with her in knowledge and also honor her and also handle her as the weaker vessel knowing that her position calls for her to submit to you. Then, if you will handle these three things together, you will be qualified enough to be heirs together with this woman, to the heirs of the grace of life. Praise the Lord. God looks at you as one. You, husband and wife, as one. So, there is a point where you must meet. And now this is where the grace of life brings you people to. Praise the Lord. And this grace of life comes from God. We are heirs. I and my husband are heirs to the grace of life. Praise the Lord. And there is another thing as I conclude. That your prayers be not hindered. If you are not able to do those three things that this verse is speaking about, then you are, putting in, you are putting yourself in a position for your prayers not to be taken in by the law. So husbands and wives all over, please, even at such moments, when things are not working around us, let us go back to the scriptures and do that which God expects of us. And in so doing, our lives will be okay. May the Lord bless you. Let me pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for your people who are listening to me, the wives, the husbands. King of all glory, at this moment, it is hard, life is hard. And life has given no hope to anybody. But Lord, we hope in you. And we know that in you we will walk right. Help us as wives to walk right according to your word. Help the husbands to walk right according, uh, according to your word. And Lord, I know that these marriages will stand the test of time. We love you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen.